What's up, everybody? It's your boy Jay from Brother Cousins Toy Reviews, and here it is. Yes, late last night, huh, Hot Toys did it. They released the Batman Forever action figures, and I gotta say, guys, these things look fucking amazing. It only took about two years for them to actually drop, you know, <laughs> official images of this thing. Oh my god. So here we are. We have Batman right here, um, played by Val Kilmer in what they are calling the sonar suit. He has the big ass bat ring right here. <laughs> and the uh, the, uh, the bat suit. The bat suit. Wow. And here it is with the uh with uh Robin played by Chris O'Donnell. And like I said, these things look great. I don't know what took so long um making these figures, uh, announcing these figures, because I believe this was Toy Fair. They showed this in uh at uh uh San Diego Cobbin Con of 2019, I believe, right? It was 2019. So yeah. Took them a very long time. Well, I know with COVID and everything, everybody's behind schedule on stuff. But damn, we should have, we should been, we should have. I don't know. They put out so many Star Wars figures. They put out so many Marvel figures, and DC gets slighted every time. But I think this was something that a lot of people was waiting for, and I don't know why it took so long. Um, but who knows? Sideshow never is forthcoming with any updates or any information and it is getting kind of it's getting kind of annoying to be quite honest with you but hey that's what it is um suit looks great the suit looks um um looks like it's made of a i don't know what this material is it's gonna be real interesting to see it's like some type of pleather rubber type of a material um as you can see right now from the prototype the uh arms seem to bend very easy I know one, I actually have the 89 Batman um, figure, and these type of um, rubber, rubber suits are really kind of hard to pose. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how posability and articulation goes with these um, with these types of figures. But yeah, this looks, looks great, looks amazing. Can't wait. Cannot wait. Looks good, man. Look at that. Oh. And it's funny, I can't I can't remember if these are the suits that have the nipples on it. You know, back in the 90s, that was the big controversy. Oh, you know, <laughs> the Joel Super Schumacher Superman movies were notorious for having the uh, the nipples on the suit. And I can't remember if this suit actually had nipples. If it doesn't have nipples on the suit, it, it, it's, not as it, it's not as accurate. So that kind of, it's not a deal breaker, but it is kind of like, hey, put the damn nipples on it. <laughs> I'm probably the only one, probably the only reviewer that's actually bringing it up. But uh, yeah, that, it looks cool. Really looks cool. Look at that. You, I mean, you can. It would be nice if they have a. Uh, I can't remember if he took his mask off. If there was a scene with the mask off in the suit and him wearing the suit, but it'd be nice to get a Val Kilmer, you know, head sculpt something with this. But I mean. You can look right there and tell that's that's uh, Val Kilmer. Wow, that's cool. Very cool. Very very cool. Very cool. Yeah, that's him. And it looks like the you get all the bad accessories. You get the battering. You get the battering folded up. Folded up. I forget what this was. Looks like some type of grappling gun. Everything was hyper stylized in this movie. Okay, so here's everything that comes with it. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with a Batman figure. And it's funny that they give you this type of base. <laughs> the original DS, uh, DX base. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Very cool. Let's, uh, let's click out of this real quick. I know they posted one for Robin. I know I saw Robin. Was I the only one that saw the Robin? There we go. Here's the Robin. I don't know why it works like that. All right, here it is, Robin. We just... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. I mean, this figure is going to make a lot of females happy. So, <laughs> uh, it's like, look at my crotch. <laughs> And it's funny because this one has the nipples. You, you know what I'm saying? So what's up with that? What's up? What's up? I just noticed this one has the nipples. And I would, see, like I said, this is going to make a lot of females happy. <laughs> Damn. All right. Oh, man. I don't want to be too uh, childish on here, but that damn Robin Pagan, ain't he? <laughs> Anyway, let's be serious here. The figure looks great. It looks like Chris O'Donnell. You got the, the mask that was kind of taped on his face. Um, yeah, this is going to be a cool set. I mean, it's real. I'm not sure. Well, I think they're selling them as individual figures, but I can't see anybody. Mm, excuse me, y'all. I'm just waking up. I can't see anybody just getting robbed, like just getting Robin and not getting Batman. That would be weird, but. You know, I'm sure there's some people that are just straight up Robin fans or Chris O'Donnell fans, but yeah, this thing looks good. Looks great. Looks awesome. Oh, so yeah, definitely want to get us, uh, get a, uh, get them together. Wow, look at that likeness. Yeah, that is, if, if this thing looks anything like the prototype, that's going to be amazing. Look, look at the, look at, you can see his blue, oh man, that looks cool. And I never realized he had a little R on his mask. I think I did see that in the movie. And as a kid, I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, but that's cool. Yeah, that is very, very cool. Look at that. Man, like, this This looks great. This looks great. Yeah, I thought brother was a little light on the accessories here. I mean, damn, you know what I'm saying? It would have been real funny if they would have sort of shot, had another shot of his crotch right here. <laughs> I know they thought about it. <laughs> I know he's grabbing, grabbing his eyelids. I know y'all thought about that shit. <laughs> that would have been funny. Uh, I always want to Photoshop it myself and just do that. <laughs> uh. Man, like I said, it's going to make a lot of females or a lot of guys happy, you know, you know no, 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 no judgment here either way. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, this thing, being serious, once again, this thing looks great. It's an awesome figure. Sorry, guys. Let me know what you're going to do. Are you going to pre-order these? Um, I think the pre-orders just uh, went up. Um. If you're on in, if you're on the one six society message boards, I think they just dropped a link today. It is Tuesday, uh, February second at eight thirty eight thirty one a.m. Um, so I think they just dropped the link um, for the pre orders. So um, let me know, are you guys gonna pre order these or are you going to pass? It looks like these are not coming for some time. I think they're saying twenty twenty two. So anything that you see from Hot Toys right now. Um, yeah, it ain't coming out to 2022, which is a long ass time away. About you know, about another year. It takes a year for stuff to come out now. So, you know, but with some figures, they drop them like in six months. So, try to understand that. But uh, anyway, guys, it's been Jay for Brother Cousins Toy Reviews. Like, share, subscribe, bang that bell for notifications and all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace, and we are.